I'm Jamie Robinson and today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare whole salmon at home. So for this today we've got a lovely salmon here and we're going to show you some really simple little tips to get the most value out of your fish this year. So before we jump into prepping our salmon today, there's a few little safety tips we want to cover first, starting with our chopping board. If you put a damp piece of cloth or a kitchen towel under your chopping board first, that's going to stop it moving around as we're prepping our fish. And the next bit is the fish itself. I like to use a little J cloth just to wipe over my fish just to take any extra moisture off of the fish. Because again, it's gonna keep it nice and clean while we're working and also stop the fish slipping around. Now we're gonna talk about the tools we're gonna to need for this. And we really don't need much to prep this whole salmon at home. The first thing is a knife and we want the knife to be super, super sharp. And it's gonna help us get all of that salmon right off the bones and make sure we're getting as much value out of this fish as we can. So now that we're safe, we're set up and we're all prepared to start, we're gonna show you the first preparation we need to do to this whole salmon. And that's gonna be taking off these fins. So we're gonna take our scissors and all we're gonna do is just take these fins, carefully trim these off. They're just gonna get in the way if we leave them on, so we'll get them out of the way nice and early. So now we've removed the fins from the back here, we're gonna move on to actually taking the first fillet off. We're gonna go in behind the head, halfway down to the spine, and then under and around making sure we go all the way through the belly. We're just gonna lift the belly here above the knife so we don't trim that off as we cut. We're just gonna turn the knife facing down all the way and out the tail. What we're gonna do is just move that down into the corner of our chopping board and actually just hang the head slightly over. So we're gonna repeat exactly like we did, a slight angle on the first cut. Make sure we go through under that fin as well. Turning our knife on an angle, lifting the belly, keeping flat to the spine. So I just keep my hand resting on top so I can hold it flat to the chopping board the whole way down. So now we've removed our fillets, we need to just clean them up, remove the little bits of rib cage and get these ready for our final preparations. Uh, we're gonna start by just trimming along the back line and then by the belly to take the ribs off. So using the tip of my knife to just get under the top of the ribs, sliding down towards the belly fat and now we're taking this off in one swift movement and just neating up around the fillet. So now we're gonna move on to the pin boning of the salmon. We know there's roughly 15 bones per side. So pliers, if you don't have fish tweezers, are absolutely fine for this. Just make sure they're nice and clean. When pulling the bones, always try and pull back towards the head so we don't rip the flesh. So I've removed all the bones I can see and I'm now just really double checking, running my finger back along that line just a few times and really make sure we've got them all. Once we've removed all the pin bones, we need to clean down again and wash our hands thoroughly. It's really important to wash our hands after handling raw fish. So now that we've got our perfectly prepared side of salmon, I'm just gonna do some different cuts now and show you just how much we can do with this. I'm just gonna remove the very top and bottom section here, just these thinnest bits that would cook unevenly. I can remove the skin from these. These are perfect to dice. We can flake these down, roast these use these in pies. Now we're gonna take two fillets off the top here. These are lovely for a salmon on croup. The middle section, my favorite, is perfect for a cured salmon. Then what we have here is a lovely tail section, a nice big centerpiece here. And then all the rest of the bits are great for the chip shop fish pie. So here you can see just how versatile buying whole fish is, in particular whole salmon. So hopefully after this, you'll be joining me buying whole fish and enjoying all these different ways to prepare it. So for any more inspiration, please search Tesco recipes online. Thank you.